Did, did we all get dumped from the meeting? I think everybody got dumped from the meeting. I apologize profusely as people are coming back after having gotten dumped. And uh, hopefully our friend Vince will be back in just a moment as well. Okay, my apologies to everyone that is joining us. My apologies to everybody that's joining us. Hopefully Vince will be able to join us in just a moment so we can finish up our lesson here this Monday night. I do think that Vince did, it, 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 he, his, his house is under a power outage. So that might, um, I don't know how it affected us here though. We're gonna take note of all the participants that are, that are coming back online now. And you're all gonna get gold stars for coming back. Can I say something to Martin's point? Yes, please. Um, I, I thought that was really interesting when you're talking about like an act two, he's trying to get these things and then the worst thing happens in this act. It's almost like you've got a, it's a restart of the play. Uh, you know, like everything stops down. It's like where we thought we were going. No, we're going in a completely opposite direction, or if not an opposite direction, we're taking a whole new trail. That's an interesting point. Yeah, I mean, if if um, if you were going to make Hamlet into a two-part play, part one would probably end with Polonius being killed, right? And then you'd be just waiting to see what would happen. I guess you could, if you're going to go with the argument that the, the Polonius' death, I guess you could, in my mind, if it's the, it's the one place from which there's not, there's kind of like a point of no return. You can't come back from that. Agreed. Yes. As the first real bona fide death in the play, you're right. That is the turning point. Uh, Vince is logging back on. Yeah, the, the death of Polonius is the inciting incident 